Hello children! Today we're going to discuss polygons. First, we have the following objectives that you have to take note of. Number one, visualizes, names, and describes polygons with five or more sides. Number two, describes and compares properties of polygons, specifically regular and irregular polygons. Number three, visualizes congruent polygons. So what is a polygon? A polygon is a closed plane figure made up of three or more line segments that are joined together. Let us break this down. So first, a polygon is a closed figure, meaning all of its sides are joined together. Next, a polygon is a plane figure, meaning it is flat. Lastly, a polygon is made up of three or more straight sides or line segments. So next, let us identify the following figure if they are polygons or not. Number one, if you said that this is not a polygon, you are correct. It may be flat, it may be closed, however, it's not made up of straight sides. Next, If you said that this is a polygon, you are correct again because it is flat, it is closed, and it is made up of 12 straight sides. Number three. Yes, this is not a polygon. Why? It's not closed as you can see these two lines here or line segments here are not joined together okay this one is not a polygon it may be closed it may be made up of plain figures however this as a whole is not a plane figure. It is a three-dimensional object. Lastly, now if you said that this is a polygon, you are correct. This polygon is closed, it has three or more straight sides, and it is flat. Okay, now there are different types of polygons. These polygons are named according to the number of their sides. The first one is the triangle. A triangle is a polygon with three sides. There are scalene triangles, equilateral triangles, isosceles triangles. Next type of polygon is called quadrilateral. It is a polygon with four sides. The famous examples of this quadrilateral are the rectangles and squares. Now polygons with five sides are called pentagons. See, this polygon has five sides and this is called a pentagon. Next, a hexagon has six sides like this it may have a funny shape but as long as it has six sides it is still called hexagon next heptagon a heptagon has seven sides like this one next octagon Octagon has eight sides, like this. Next, nonagon. A nonagon is a polygon with nine sides. Decagon. 
It is a polygon with 10 sides. And decagon, it is a polygon with 11 sides. Next, the decagon, a polygon with 12 sides. Now, let us try to name these polygons. First, yes, this is a star, but what is its name according to the number of its sides? You are correct. It is called decagon. This one is shaped like a thunder. And it is called undecagon because it has 11 sides. This one may look like a letter L lying down. And this is called a hexagon because it has 6 straight sides. Lastly, another type of star and it is called an octagon because it has eight straight sides now let us move on to the regular and irregular polygons now as i've said a while ago a polygon is a closed plane figure made up of three or more straight sides like this one this one is made up of line segments that are joined together. Now I have here two uh, examples of quadrilaterals. What can you say about these figures? Now focusing on this um, square, we can see that the sides are of equal sizes. And aside from having equal sides, we can also say that the angles are also congruent because all of these angles are 90 degrees. Or, they are called right angles. Now, a polygon that has equal sides and equal angles are called regular polygon. Moving on to this, uh, to this example of quadrilateral, as you can see, the sides are not equal. And, the angles are also not congruent. These two angles here are 90 degrees, or they are called right angles. Now this angle here is an obtuse, tri uh, obtuse angle, and this angle here is an acute angle. So it has an equal angles and an equal sides. And this polygon is called irregular polygon. Now, let us try to identify these figures if they are regular or irregular polygons. Example number one. A heptagon. Yes, it is a regular heptagon because all of its sides and all of its angles measure the same. Next one, we have here a pentagon. Yes, you are correct. It is an irregular pentagon. As you can see, um, the sides have different measurements. This one is an irregular nonagon. The base here has longer length compared to these sides. Next. We have here a regular dodecagon. All of its sides and all of its angles have the same measurements. 
Now we move on to our next topic which is about congruent polygons. Look at these two uh, shapes. Analyze the sides. What do you notice with the sides? Now, as you can see, the corresponding sides of these two polygons have the same measurements. What about the angles? The angles also are congruent. Now, if you want to make sure, we can put them on top of the other. As you can see, they fit together perfectly. Now polygons or two polygons whose corresponding sides and whose corresponding angles are congruent are called congruent polygons. Now let us try to pair these polygons. Look for congruent polygons. Well, I hope you were able to identify the congruent polygons in that one. So remember, polygons are closed plane figures made up of three or more straight sides or line segments. And there are different types of polygons according to the number of their sides. A regular polygon is both equilateral and equiangular, meaning their sides are equal as well as their angles. Irregular polygons have unequal angles and unequal sides. While congruent polygons are polygons whose corresponding sides are equal as well as their corresponding angles. And in a pair of congruent polygons, one may be rotated or be the mirror image of the other. That's all for today, children. Goodbye!